hello guys welcome back to another roblox studio tutorial on my channel and today i'm gonna teach you and show you how to make a warning gui for your game uh, basically what they're used uh, for they're used for for example some horror games and you want to warn players that it's horror it's got some like jump scares flashing lights Whatever you want to do, for whatever you want, is just supposed to warn players about it. Also, you, I'll leave this model in the description so you can get it if you want. And you can also make your own as I will show you in the video. Also, I left all the scripts in the description, so enjoy. And now I'm going to show you how to do it. So first, you want to go here to view and make sure that Explorer and Properties are enabled. Next, you want to uh, find starter GUI um, in the Explorer and you want to click this plus. Next, you want to uh, insert a screen GUI. If you don't have it, just search for screen GUI. Um, I'm gonna name it warning. It doesn't matter. You can name it whatever you want. So there are a lot of designs for uh, these GUIs. Uh, I'm gonna show you how I usually do it, but it's really up to you. So I'm, I'm gonna insert a frame. Uh, I'm gonna make sure that um, anchor point is 0.5, 0.5. Okay, now the, for the position, I put a 0 0.5, 0, 0, 0, 0. That puts it right to the middle. <laughs> it's a little hard. Now for the size, it's 1, 0, 1, 0. And now it's completely all over my screen. Um, I'm gonna name the frame like um, background. Again, it doesn't matter. I'm just showing you how I'm gonna do it. So background color is gonna I'm gonna put like a like a gray kind of one. So now you want to insert into this frame called uh, the dining background, you want to insert a text label. And in the text label, um, you want to put here in the properties the background transparency to be completely well, yeah, it's transparent basically. So um now what you wanna do you want to um, go um, to size it and then you want to scroll down until you see text over here you want to change well i change the font usually uh, you can you know put it like you know you can customize it and then you want to click text scale right over here see how it looks like customize it i like this now you want also to change text or you d if you can change text color by uh, going here in text color in the properties go to text color 3 and i'm gonna make it red and here where it says text you put like a warning or something like that okay so we have here a warning you can also put these emojis i'll leave them in the description like a triangle i'll leave them in the description um so once you have your text you want to uh, add another text label and this time well actually let's name so this one will be like a, a warning like just a warning and this one will be like the description for example i mean you can name them whatever you like it really doesn't matter this time you just have to be careful if you're scripting something with them you have to put their exact name but that's not for this video and now i'm also gonna put here the same font it would be nice if you don't you know do like one font here and then a different font there uh, again text scaled you can uh, text size you can't change it if you have text scaled uh, um, so now you want to do something like um, this like below warning and like all the way like this and leave some space down here Okay, so now you want to, you can type your text from here. So for example, this game contains jump scares, flash, oh my god, my spelling, flashing lights, scary sounds, scary images, scary action, whatever. And for example, see like, okay, maybe this is a bit too big, but something like this would be good. And now for the last part, you um, I mean, you can now choose between. So uh, let's first add a text button for players like to click accept or like I agree, you know, like. So you want to, for example, put your button right somewhere like here. 
If you want to have only one button, uh, you put it right in the middle. If, if you want to have two buttons, like I'm about to show you, you just do this. Like somewhere like right here. Uh, now we put again background transparency to one. You don't have to, but I like to do it. So now we put the same font, just like that. We put text scaled. And actually, I like to put background transparency for buttons. Like something like 0 0.9 basically just so that you can tell it's a button something like this would be good and then like transparency to be like well then you can do transparency zero basically something like this would be good okay this is really good so now instead of button let's say something like i agree so just like that and now also you can go in the explorer and see the you can add a ui corner it's called UI corner like this and you can add it and if you take a look it's like it has like rounded corners it's like you know like it has it's not like sharp it's like like rounded literally you can also change you select UI corner and you can change all these so say if you put like 8.8 oh my god okay yeah that's maybe a little too much for my taste but some like like some like um like one something like maybe like 0 0.5 comma 8 ish or 0 comma 8 so some like for example like 0 0.1 comma 8 yeah that, that's pretty good you can customize it it doesn't really matter so i'm gonna show you how to have two buttons so i agree and decline so first you want to right click on the text button and click copy or Control c and you know and then you have to do it that way. So go to background frame and click paste into. So now we have two buttons. The first one you have to, sorry, I'm so sorry. So the first one called I agree. And the second one, uh, like decline. So the decline one, you want to move it right like this. And the decline is going to be like red, I don't even know, like something like this, like, and then uh, your the text should, be, again, you can change the text, I'm gonna say like, uh, like, or maybe, no, 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 sorry, so decline, and I'm actually gonna change the text from I agree to actually like accept in instead. And also you can change it over here. So now that you've got these two, uh, you don't have to have decline, but you have, you need to obviously to have accept. And if you have only accept, just put it like right here in the middle, like the, because it's the only button. But if you have two, you have to put them like this, so you have like space. These look really nice, I think, I'd say. Okay, so now that you've got this UI, you want to go to background and insert the, the frame and insert a local script. The script is in the description. Uh, but don't worry, it's really short and there's nothing to like, you know, make a mistake. So just watch carefully. So I'm actually going to zoom in this a little bit so you can see. First, let's define our button. So local, you put local. Uh, no, so first background, you, why not? You never know. Background is equals to script of parent. Why parent? So script, obviously script. And then parent, so background is its parent or the local script is the like kid from the background so it's script dot parent and even if you look at the script parent is background which is and we're defining background next up we can do local accept is equals to background dot accept now see this accept you want to change this accept to whatever your button is so for example uh, if your button that's like accept is like named like i agree you have to put here like if it's named i agree you have to put here i agree but if it's not you put uh if but mine is named accept so i put accept for the like you know, accept button so make sure to change that to whatever your button's name is and then the next local decline is equals to background dot decline same story here why decline because my name of the decline button is decline so now that we have defined our buttons go down a few lines and then all you gotta do is so first for the accept so accept dot 
uh, mouse button one click. Uh, mouse button one click is basically like your left click, but if you want the right click, you put mouse button two click. So now you put clone con connect a function and you put like this. So you have like an open and closed one like this and press enter. So now what we want, so if you accept, so we want a warning, uh, sorry, background dot parent, um, background, uh, no, sorry, okay, so let's just do background, column destroy. So it destroys everything, basically. Oh yeah, also, sorry, one more thing. You want to go here to warning UI, and you want to uh, do a few things here. So you want to uh, click uh, ignore GY and you want to disable reset on spawn. So reset on spawn basically like uh, makes it like if you click accept and you have to click it again when you like die and respawn, which we don't want. If you accept once, you accept forever basically. So you have to do uh, disable reset on spawn and enable ignore gui whatever it is okay so if you have only the accept button you're done basically but if you have the decline button as well well we're gonna now code that and if you don't have it just don't follow this part of the tutorial so decline which is our which we defined over here dot mouse button one click again connect a function and you want to um so first hold up uh, so first we go, uh, sorry, again, go up here again and type local player is equals to game.player.local player. So up here, it has to be above uh, these functions. So just may put it up here. Local player, game.player is the local player. Equals game player. So here you can do a lot of things, but I'm going to kick the player here. So just type player, colon, kick. It's just like this, and I think these brackets should open. If not, you put them yourself. And then do like this, put these brackets, and then type, for example, this is the message that they're going to see. So, for example, you have been kicked from, uh, you, ha you, you know, for example, so basically it's going to kick the player and it's going to say you declined. I forgot. You might want to disable the player movement. So you want to do player up here. So, um, so you want to go again down one line on top of the script. So player dot character colon wait for child. And you type humanoid. Be careful. And then you put dot walk speed. And then you say equals to zero. Okay. And then you want to copy this line just like that. In the accept function over here that we coded, you want to, uh, to go down a line and pre and paste the script. But instead of zero, you put sixteen or and uh, so okay. <laughs> So I uh, put 16, but be careful. If you change the walk speed of the player, you have to put that speed. So for example, if your speed was like 32, you put 32. But the default player walk speed is 16. So if you did not change that, just put here 16. So now we can test our game. So it says warning. This game contains jump scares, flashing lights, blah blah blah, scary sounds, images, scary action. Um, so now let's, uh, as you can see, I can't move at all. I mean, I can jump. If we go to our client, you see I can't, uh, I can't move at all. But if I click accept, the GUI, the UI uh, disappeared, and I can walk like before. So now let's try. So, uh, so accept works. So you have the UI. I click accept and it disappears. But, but what if I click the decline? So if I come uh, this, uh, if you, so if I click the decline, uh, <laughs> nothing really happens as you can see. Um, but because that's because I'm in the studio and it is. And, and I click the client and I have been kicked, but since I'm in Roblox Studio, I don't see the kick message. 
So basically, if uh, in your game on Roblox, you will see like you have been kicked from the game error code like what 270 something, and uh, but since I'm in studio, I can't see that I'm kicked, and I can but I know that I'm kicked because if I click accept and I try to jump, you see I'm like mid there and like if I go to the server, I'm not there. So the server is empty and I'm like here. So that means I have been kicked. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope this tutorial helped you for making your games. If this helped you, it would help me if you click the like and subscribe button. And thanks for watching and I'll see you again in the next tutorial.